Hi, I'm Anupam Palan. I'm back. This is season two, episode number ten from the prediction series. In fact, it's the last episode in the prediction series for this season. So let's take a look at the question. Consider n points in space. Each pair of points is connected by a resistor, and each resistor has a value of r. So all the resistances are identical. The question is asking compute the equivalent resistance between any two points. So pause the video, give it a try, and then take a look at my solution and see if you've gotten it correct. All right. So I'm going to solve this on the next page. So I have n points in space, and I want to find the equivalent resistance between two points. So let's say those two points are A and B. Now the other points, n minus two points. So these are all the n minus two points. Now you should be able to realize that all these n minus two points are equivalent. These are just random n minus two points. Their location in space has no consequence on the circuit. And therefore, if I have any resistance between these n minus two points, all of those n minus two points are at the same potential, so there will be no current in any of these resistances. And therefore, I can just remove all these resistances connected between any any pair of points among these n minus two points. And therefore, the only current that will flow is from A to one of these points and then to B. And so on. And of course, I'll have one resistance connecting A and B directly. Okay, so all these pairs of resistances here will now be in series. So I can just redraw my diagram as. Two R. Two R. 2R and all of these will be in parallel. And how many 2R resistances will I have? I have n minus 2 points, so I'll have n minus 2 such rows of 2R. And finally, I'll have a resistance that is connecting A and B directly of R. So now it's very straightforward. You just have to add up all of them in parallel. I can simply write 1 by R equivalent should be equal to 1 by 2R plus 1 by 2R plus 1 by 2R. So that'll be n minus 2 times plus 1 by R, which is the resistance connecting A and B directly. So you get R equivalent as 2R by N. So I hope you've understood how I solved this question just by symmetry. Whenever the question looks like a little complicated, uh, like you have many resistances and you may think it's like a complicated circuit, almost always there will be some sort of symmetry that you have to look out for. That's it for today. See you at the top. Good night.